Hey guys, this is Gary with Runes of Life and another geeky devotional. I've recently watched the Obi-Wan Kenobi series from Disney+. Plus. If you haven't uh, watched it, I'm just going to give you a little summary here with some spoilers. Uh, right now, Obi-Wan's in a dark time in his life. Uh, his former Padawan, Anakin Skywalker, has turned to the dark side. And uh, as far as Obi-Wan knows, is dead by Obi-Wan's own hands. Uh, the Jedi Order has fallen and most of its members have been killed, and the few that remain are being hunted down by uh, Dark Inquisitors and the Empire and Darth Vader, and um, most of them are in hiding just trying to survive. Uh, and the Republic itself has, um, has fallen to the Empire and its tyranny. So things are not looking up for Obi-Wan at this point, but there is one glimmer of hope if you remember at the end of Episode 3, Obi-Wan talks to Yoda, and Yoda tells him that his former master, Qui-Gon Jinn, who was killed years earlier by Darth Maul, has found a way to communicate from beyond the grave. This is kind of the one thing that Obi-Wan has going for him right now when he's lost all his other faith. So Obi-Wan goes to watch over Luke Skywalker on Tatooine, but also to communicate with Qui-Gon Jinn. Except he can't. No matter how hard he tries, no matter you know what he does, he cannot make that contact with from beyond the grave with his former master. And it's been years, and nothing has happened. He cannot make contact. And I know for me, and maybe for you, there's been times where I felt that way with God, right? I, you know, we talk about prayer, and sometimes that can seem like such a vague thing. You know, you're just it feels like you're talking into nothing. Um, and you start wondering, does God hear me? Did I do something wrong? You know, it is uh, this whole thing fake? And you start kind of being like Obi-Wan. At this point, he's going through the motions. And sometimes in our prayer life, we can kind of go through the motions. We can kind of wonder, is this prayer thing doing any good? Is God still with me? Does God still love me? Is he still fighting for me and guiding me? Back to Obi-Wan, right? We get, he goes through this uh, whole six-episode series, and he grows, and he changes, and he gets parts of his faith back. And the way the series ends is he's going into the desert, and finally, Qui-Gon appears to him, Qui-Gon's Jedi ghost. And the first thing Qui-Gon says is, well, it took you long enough. And Obi-Wan can't believe what he's seen after all these years of trying to contact Qui-Gon, it's finally happened. He says, I was beginning to think you'd never come. Qui-Gon's force ghost kind of looks at him kind of puzzled. I was always here, Obi-Wan. You were just not ready to see. And sometimes that's how it is with God, right? He's always been there, but sometimes we can't see it. We can't see what he's doing behind the scenes. We can't see the little pieces that he's moving, the uh, support that he's given, the help that he's given. It may feel silent, but sometimes we just aren't ready to see all that he's done. But when we do see, we realize a few things. We realize we weren't abandoned. We realize that we didn't lose God's love. We realize that our faith isn't a lie. We realize that God was always there, right beside us, guiding us, helping us, comforting us, looking out for us, and working things to the best for us, for God's glory. And I think that's very important to remember, that even in your doubts, you need to press on, because sometimes you won't hear from God, but you have to have faith that he is there. There are times in our life where it feels like God is closer than you know our own skin. And there are times when it feels like he is so far away and so distant. But even those times when he's far away and distant, he's not. He is right there. So press on in your faith. Know that he is with you. Know that he will not abandon you. Know that he loves you today just as much as he loved you during those times when he felt so close. Nothing has changed. He is with you always. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next time.